Hi guys, this is Carrie with Glitzy Glam. Now, I know I just posted a video where I reorganized my and decluttered my uh, craft room, and I really wasn't going to do this, but I couldn't let it go, and I'm doing it, okay? I went for it. These are four Walmart shelves that I decided to make into my ultimate craft box. Uh, and I bought these at Walmart for $37 each. So all four of them were $148 from Walmart. Now, the instructions were very, very easy. And let me show you uh, the only mistakes I made, even though the instructions were very easy, is see this part right here and how it goes here on this back shelf back here somehow it was the first shelf it was the first shelf so I accidentally put that one in upside down and it's pointing up and I actually thought that was the right way until I decided I didn't like that brown um, so I'm not sure if I'll be lazy and leave it like that or if I will fix it and just paint that strip white but just wanted to show you so you can um, be warned now in the past I have made units like this and as long as you make double sure when you're putting it together that this white side is always they're all pointing in the same direction you'll be fine now the other mistake that I made on just one and I already knew this but for some reason just wasn't paying attention on this top shelf in the back there's a place to put a nylon uh, piece screwed into the shelf let's see if I can I don't know if you can see it see that little nylon strap well, I put it on the first one because I figured that one is going to go in the middle. But then on this one, on one of them, I think I put, yes, I put this in upside down so I could not put the strap. This was supposed to be on top. So, those are the only two real mistakes that I made because the top of the thing now does not have a strap. Now, these, I, I was going to move, they're the closing doors, so um, I didn't make any mistakes on these. Now, you may be wondering, though, why this is white and this is cardboard. And the reason is, when it's shut, and I'll show you once I move it. Okay, once it's shut, see this cardboard backing, it, this, this is going to be up against the wall. But when you shut your cabinet, this part is going to be showing. So I put the white part showing. Now, let me go around here. Now, eventually, this is cardboard and it's not too cute. Eventually, I'm going to put a thin piece of wood and some wood trim. But this video is just going to be about getting it together and putting it together. So that's why it's cardboard on the inside. It looks like I made a mistake, but I did not. Now, I am going to probably have to paint that so that it is white. But if I had painted it and it didn't look good on the outside, then yeah. But anyway, I knew I was going to wind up putting wood on it and trim so that it looks like a real door. And I know I've got real close-up pictures here, but now here, the, one, the two that are going to go up against the wall are going to have pegboard. 
So this is going to look different in just a little while. All right, but I wanted to kind of give you an idea what all this process looked like since I didn't show the whole detailed video of me putting every single little piece together. But the instructions are pretty easy to follow. It did take me most of the day to do four, but it really doesn't take long to do the shelves. Okay, now what I did was the two in the middle that are going to go up against the wall, um, I put pegboard. Now I did paint it first. I wanted to paint it aqua, but I didn't have any on hand and I didn't want to wait. So I went ahead and painted it white on the inside. I didn't paint the outside. And I've now nailed it on to the two um, shelves and I will pick that up and show you what that looks like. Alright, here it is with the pegboard and as you can tell I am going to need to you know paint another coat but I used spray paint because it was faster to get a good coat so it won't take much to um, finish covering with a paintbrush and some paint. Well, I don't know. I may have to take it outside and spray paint it some more because I don't want to clog up those holes with paint either. So we'll get it done. And then, of course, again, that little strip down there that's going to drive me crazy. We're going to paint that because I just don't have the energy to flip that the correct way <laughs> but if I once I paint it it'll be fine but looking good looking good looking good all right now to um, I'll have to put the wheels on first and then try to put the hinges on now, right here on the middle shelf, I'm going to be installing these L brackets. And the reason is to give these shelves some extra support. Now, although it may be the, uh, the outside shelves, the outside, sh uh, the outside book shelves I will be adding the L brackets to. I may just add it to all the shelves in the middle of the bookcase because that's where we're going to put the uh, tables that are going to come out. And I have tables already um, well, in my case, I'm probably not going to be using the this shelf here as a support shelf for a table but I'm doing it in case later down the road I want to do that um, and that's what you're going to need to do if you're going to add a table on each side that moves away to put when you fold it in you've got to be able to move the table away and move the table in as needed. But that's the reason I'm doing it, because of the original setup has it set up to where you can put a table on top of this shelf to make like a U shape. And then when you want to close everything up, you fold up that table and then you can close the cabinet. In my case, I'm doing things a little different, but I want to show you the right way to put it together in case that's what you want to do, and in case I want to do that in the future. All right, I have four of these little shelves with the cubes at the bottom. Those are what I'm going to use to hold up my table that I'm putting in front of the shelves. And later I may also put those on wheels just so that I can move the table when I want to close the shelves up or, you know, whatever I want to do, however I want to do it. 
it'll be all set up for me. Now, what I originally had bought these for is to make my table. So we'll see. We'll see how it all comes together. But however it comes together, it's going to be great. But I am going to get rid of these chest of drawers that I have. Um, this one right here in the middle was my son's. This one right here was my husband and I's, but it got wet, so I have it leveled out with a um, huge board and a um, big square tile. It looks super great, all painted white and put together. It looks like the perfect setting, but... Uh, the whole back bottom is got wet in the hurricane, and so I had to do it that way. And then that sh one right over there, that one used to be my s husband's when he was growing up. So that one is over 30, over 50, well, maybe around 40 years old. Who knows how old it is. But none of them are antique. None of them, this one was from a hotel furniture store and it was super super nice until it got wet and then painted it white and it looks great that one was my son's and he had drew pictures on it and I repainted it white that one is uh, but they're all made out of uh, pressed wood this one right here that used to be my husband's I put new handles on it but the screws that we bought were way too long so it needs new screws to put the handles on, but it was made useful, and now all of that stuff's going to go in bins on my shelves. All right, guys, this is how I've attached the wheels, or should I say my husband has helped me attach the wheels. Now, we have learned one thing about this project is... Yes, we're going to get it put together as cheap as possible, but if you have a little extra money in your budget, having a little bit better quality bookshelves is helpful because that is where we had the problems getting these wheels wheels in. Now this is how we're doing it. We've got two cabinets put together. So we've got two here. We're going to put these two wheels in the middle and then those two at the bottom. If you know a little more about construction, uh, maybe you will do yours a little different, but that's what we're doing. And let me show you the back. This is where I installed the um, pegboard so that it holds both of these shelves together and I'm going to add pegboard to my other shelves that are going to be the doors that you close in. Okay guys I've got all the wheels on now I have my cabinets laying on top of each other and you can see I have such a small space to work in. I did some uh, painting outside on the fronts of the cabinet um, but it was so hot I uh, am doing the rest of this in here even though as you can see I ha barely have space around the cabinets but I'm fixing to um, put the hinges on I'm going to put a hinge here a hinge there and there and let me show you on this side it will be better easier and I will definitely I would have done a better job of videotaping all of this if I had had more room so I'm just going to go ahead and um, get the work done and I'll show you how I've done it so right there there's going to be hinges here in the middle and over here and I'll show you when I'm done. 
There's the hinges I put in myself. I had a little piece of cardboard in between. And then here's the other hinge. And then the one at the very end. I did that on each side. And there I did on each side. I did measure 35 inches from the top. That's where I put the one in the middle because the whole cabinet is 71 inches. So I did that at 35 inches in the middle there. All right, guys, here it is. I finally finished it. I will admit I do not curse and I did not curse, but there were a few times I wanted to curse making this project it was not the easiest I thought it was going to be easier than it was but on the other hand I did it all by myself except for the major help my husband gave me major on putting the wheels on and helping me lift and lower all right, so let me open it up. It's not pretty right now because I, I think I'll paint and stencil something on the outside. But here it is opened up. I do not have the inside painted yet because I really wanted to get this video out for you guys. Here is the pegboard on this one. And the pegboard on this one, I don't have painted yet. I didn't like the cardboard left on it, so that also put me back some time. Uh, the pegboard was $18. The other board that I put on the that I put on the front here, this board right here, um, was. Eleven dollars and I had to um, On this one I got all one piece out of it, but on this one I had to do two pieces That's why I have trim across the middle um, It's a little plain All white need some touching up but it is done. It was a labor of love now I've got to put in the shelves but I'm very happy to say it is done. I um, want to show you one other thing. Cameo does fit on this shelf. And I still need to put all the shelves and the organizing stuff in. But I will show you that when i am done if there are any questions you have put them in the comments so that i can answer all of your questions um and i hope you liked it oh i forgot to show you this one other thing that i added on for um stability and that is i bolted these two together um, the, this was holding it together in the back, but this needed some stability. So I have one at the very bottom and one here. And maybe when I have energy, I'll put one up there. But just wanted to show you that. And then, of course, this is where the hinges. And the trim and the handles i screwed those in they're very sturdy but this trim right here is hot glued on just to cover that seam there and this d trim is hot glued on all right guys i really hope that this video was helpful you were able to see how it was all done and met uh, step by step even though i didn't 
keep the video running the entire time I was doing the uh, cabinet. All right, guys, if you have some tips for th those viewing this uh, cabinet put together and you have some tips that will make it better and easier and prettier, I'm all, they're all welcome. But thank you for watching, and my next video about this cabinet will be how I've got it decorated and organized, and that'll be part two.